Hi guys, and welcome, to, welcome to another Minecraft Monday tutorial today and teach you how to add your very own progress bar to the game. So I have actually already made a class which is a progress bar because I spent about two hours trying to do this and it didn't work. But hopefully now it is working entirely. As you can see here, we've already got the progress bar representing our cooldown because I've been trialing this. And if I turn it on, you'll see that the progress bar moves left to right as you would expect and this one obviously is faster than the other one and you can see it's faster so uh, these were here just for a test so I can now remove these um, and I'm actually going to break this one grab myself a lever so I can show you how to use it so let's head over to the code so here we have our progress bar it's a very simple class to use uh, I don't need to control shift O. You can download this class in the description. And everything you need is here. Um, we'll be changing this and removing this for when you guys download this. But um, this is just so I can change for testing. So to get your progress bar, all you need is in your GUI, add a progress bar like so. Here we put the texture name in, the, the path to it, the way it's going to move. As it's upright, I'm going to change it left to right. Because uh, that's what it's on at the moment, and I like that. You then put the width, the height, the position on the screen, and then the position in the texture of the progress bar. So I'll quickly show you the texture. All I've done is a slight little change to it. Here we go. Inside paint.net, you will see that uh, I don't need both of these open. We've got this little bit here, which is the coloured part of this texture. So that's the position here, that's the position there. Um, so that's how that works. And all we do is we set the min and the max. So the min is cooldown, max is the max cooldown. Obviously that's synced and we draw it. So that's very simple. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly show you how you can change this. So as you can see it's going left to right currently. Uh, I can show you right here that it can go right to left. Um, and it doesn't matter, this is always going to change, so now it's going right to left, and this can also go up to down, if you don't know how I'm doing this, it is in debug mode, so up to down, so it goes from top to the bottom, and obviously down to up, it well, does what it says in the tin, and it's going to go down to up, so it's going to go up, like so, we even have diagonals, so diagonal down left it suggests that it's going to go from the top left down to the bottom left, like so. And you can also do down right, so it goes from uh, the top left down to the bottom right. You can also do uh, up left, so it goes from bottom right to the bottom left, as you can see. Um, and you can also do up right, so it goes from bottom left to up to the top right, as you can see it's updated here. Um, I'm now going to remove this after I put it left to right. Um, and I can actually delete this line, because it's not going to affect it anymore. So you can see it's going left to right, suggesting that everything is working. So hopefully you'll find this tutorial quite useful. It's really simple. Now I spent two hours making that class and it's proper simple. Hope you guys can utilize this. I'm out.